Hi, I'm Carla, and I'm here at Chapters today to tell you about a few events that we have coming up this fall and to introduce you to a, a new book by one of our favorite people. So welcome to our local author section, which you can see behind me here. Um, we have several events that are featuring local authors that are coming up soon, and we're not letting COVID keep us from celebrating authors and celebrating books. We're taking our events online this fall. Um, so no in-person events, but that's okay because we've got lots of fun things coming anyway. Um, the first one that's coming up is a Zoom on September 3rd, which is Thursday at 7 p.m. And that night we're featuring some Nebraska authors who have new books about Nebraska. And their books include lots of things to do in Nebraska and sites to see, which um, could be useful right now since we don't have Husker football and volleyball to entertain us. So you might want to take some notes on that and join us for that Zoom. The information about how to join the Zoom is in the description below this video, so you can check that out there. Um, but the authors who are participating are Gretchen Garrison, um, Nicole Reynaud, and Tim and Lisa Trudell. So make sure you check that one out. Um, and then after that, we're starting a video series. Um, we can't do story times in person either, so we're gonna do a Tuck In Tuesday video series and every night at 7 p.m., or excuse me, every Tuesday night at 7 p.m., we're going to have bedtime stories. And we'll start that on September 15th. And for our first couple, we're going to have some special guests be our readers. The first one we'll have is Rebecca Gomez. And she's an Omaha author of Two Tough Trucks. And she's going to read us Two Tough Trucks and also the new sequel that comes out in a few days. So check in, um, join us for that on the 15th at 7 o'clock. And then the week after that, Deborah Underwood, who is also a, a great picture book author, is going to read us some of her books. And she's from San Francisco rather than from here in Nebraska, but she's still great. And you'll have to tune in that night to see what she's going to read. Um, another video series that we're going to be starting soon, we're calling Chapters Book Chats. And these will be on Tuesdays at noon. And each week, one of our staff here at Chapters or a friend of Chapters is going to tell you about a new book, uh, either a new book or a book that we especially like that we want you to make sure that you're aware of. And um, we're going to do those every Tuesday at noon. And the first one, I'm going to have the honor of sharing today is Ted Kuzer's new book. And Ted's new book is called Red Stilts. It's a collection of poetry, and it will be available September 8th. And um, we can't have an event with Ted because of COVID. We want to keep everyone safe and healthy. So uh, Ted has graciously agreed to come in and sign books for us, even if we're not having a public event. So if you want a signed copy, you can give us a call or order through our website and get a copy of the book ordered before September 8th, and Ted will come in and sign it for you, and then you can pick it up later, or we can ship it to you too. Um, but you won't want to miss Red Stilts if you're a Ted Kuzer fan. Uh, all of his books are amazing, and he is one of the most talented poets that I'm familiar with. Um, what I like about his poetry is that he takes something as simple as a tree frog or uh, in this case, the title poem, a pair of red stilts that his that he made when he was a kid. And, you know, as you're reading their poem, you're thinking, oh yeah, stilts, I had stilts when I was a kid and my dad made them for me. So yeah, I can relate to what he's saying. And then you read the poem again and you stop and think about it. And you realize that, that poem isn't really about red stilts. It's about some bigger universal truth which he's representing with a pair of red stilts that he made as a kid. And you think, wow, how did he do that? Um, and you're, you'll be impressed and amazed, like always with Ted's poetry. Um, so that's Red Stilts. Make sure you check it out. Uh, get your copies signed if you'd like. And then tune in next Tuesday when I think Cheryl's doing our next book talk. And she's got a book that she wants to tell you about, too. So thanks for tuning in today. Um, keep reading, keep thinking about the world and seeing things in new ways the way Ted does. And check in with us again next week. Thanks.